let's go. Hi, Warriors. So here it is, Thanksgiving week. So th this week I have for you Thanksgiving workout. It's gonna be zero for the four. And yes, we're gonna do workout on Thursday on the Thanksgiving day. Now who's with me? Yay. I hope everybody. So uh, guys, in this workout we're doing four different exercises. All you need is a dumbbell. I'm using 10 pound dumbbell. The weight of your dumbbell depends on your own strength, on your own fitness level. And then you're gonna need an exercise mat. So, now I'm gonna go over each exercise. I'm gonna show you the proper form so that you're ready for Thursday and you can do this workout with me in a real time. So, pick up your dumbbell. Now I'm gonna show you the first exercise. That's a squat jump. So, you're holding the dumbbell in front of you. Keep a good posture. So, shoulders back and down, chest up abs tight, now you're gonna push, push your hips back, squat down, keep your thighs parallel to the ground, and now you're gonna jump up and land again, back into the squat. So just remember your knees and your toes should be pointed slightly out outwards. And when you're landing, always land softly on the balls of your feet and bend your knees as you land so that you uh, absorb the shock when you're landing. So try a few reps. <sighs> now if you're a complete beginner and uh, holding the weight for, uh, is too hard for you when you're doing the jump squats, you can do it without it, just with your own body weight. And you know, even beginners can try to jump at least slightly, at least a little bit at least a couple inches off of the ground. That's all you have to do. Just don't give up on this exercise. So another exercise in this workout is gonna be lunge uh, wood chop. So you're gonna need again your weight, your, your dumbbell. So this time you're gonna lunge back, keep the front knee straight. Your uh, front knee and front toes are pointing straight forward. Now you're gonna bring the weight next to your fo foot from the outside. And you're gonna swing the weight up across the body as you stand up. <sighs> so you're twisting your body. You're gonna bring the weight up as you stand up. And then you're gonna lunge back again, bring the weight down. <sighs> like this. Try the same thing. On the other side. Now, again, if you're a beginner and doing this exercise with the weight is too hard for you, try it with just your own body weight, without the weight. Lunge back, reach down, and then bring your arms across your body. Raise your arms up, twist your body like this. You know, you can always find a modification for every exercise so don't give up also remember you can have a chair for support so you can also lunge back holding onto a chair you can try to reach down and then as you get up reach up you can do it in many ways just so that you get a hang of this exercise and you get yourself moving that's the important thing once you get yourself moving, you're gonna be building strength gradually and you're gonna be able to do every exercise that I do. Another exercise in this workout is gonna be twisted sit up. So you're gonna need your exercise mat and your dumbbell. Now you're gonna lay down on your back, bring the dumbbell over your head. Now as you sit up, you're gonna bring your chest off of the ground, then your core, and then you're gonna raise your arms up and you're gonna straighten up your back. Then you're gonna twist your body towards one side, bring the dumbbell towards one side, bring it back to the center and then roll your back down again, bring the weight above your head again. Again, you're gonna sit up, straighten up your back. Then you're gonna twist towards the opposite side, back to the center. Lay down, bring the weight above your head. So, again, beginners, 
you don't have to do the weight if it's too hard for you. Again, you can do this exercise with just your own body weight. You can slowly get up and then twist your body, get down. The same thing towards the other side. And then get down. And that's it. The fourth exercise in this workout is burpee, light lift, light lift burpee. So, you're gonna need your, you don't have to use your exercise mat for this one, but you might, if you're a beginner, I'm gonna explain it to you. So, you're gonna get down into the plank. So your body's in one straight line. Now, if you can do a regular push-up, do a regular push-up. So bring your body down, push up. Now, twist your body sideways so that you get into the side plank. And you're gonna do a light lift. Keep your core tight. Twist again towards the center. Jump your feet forward. Jump up. You're gonna do the same thing towards the other side. So get into the plank. Do a push up. Twist towards the other side. Side plank. Leg lift. Twist into the plank. Jump, it, jump, jump your feet forward and then jump up. Now, beginners, you guys can do this. You can jump into the plank. If you cannot do regular push-up, you can put your knees down on the exercise mat. You can do a push-up off of your knees. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, and, but you cannot do regular push-up, try to push your hips a little bit up and try to bend your elbows at least slightly. You know, try to get as close to the regular push-up as you can, but don't give up on it if you don't have the strength yet. You have to be building your strength slowly, progressively. So try at least that. That will, you know, get you started. And then side, go on the side. If you're a beginner, you can try to put your knee down, do the leg lift like this, and then back into the center. You can step forward instead of jumping if you can't jump, and then at least a little bit. So as you can see, you can really modify every exercise in this workout so that even complete beginner can try this at home. And just remember, guys, these short, super intense workouts are the only thing that I do. I do them as often as possible, five to seven times a week, but that's it. So it's a really just 12 minute workout a day and you can keep yourself, you can get yourself in shape and you can keep yourself with these workouts in shape. You know, because you're constantly trying to beat your score, you're trying to be always faster and stronger, you know, so you're constantly improving at least a little bit. Plus, you know, I'm not sabotaging my efforts with, with bad diet. I'm really, I do pay attention to what I eat, how much I eat. So uh, if you just combine these two things, nothing is easier than keep your, keeping yourself in shape, trust me. So that's it. And I'll see you guys on Thursday on the Thanksgiving day. Ciao. Six.